How's it going everybody? Jake here and today I am real excited for the video I've got for you guys. So if you watch my channel you might have seen that recently I acquired a Boss Katana 50 in a trade. So I've been doing all sorts of tests to see if this amp really lives up to the awesome reputation it has. Now so far it has passed with absolute flying colors. So what I'm doing today is I put it in the room next door. I mic'd it with an SM57 and I put it on 50 watt mode at full volume and we're going to see how it sounds. So I feel like with most solid state amplifiers, the more you crank them, the worse they sound. Now the Boss Katana is indeed a solid state amplifier. It is not a modeling amp, it is a class AB solid state amplifier with modeling effects built in. So let's see, is this thing going to sound like absolute garbage or is it going to sound great? Let's check it out. All right, everybody, here we are. Same guitar, same amp, same amp setting, but the big difference is it is mic'd at full volume. So let's see how this thing sounds. I am going to throw on a pair of studio headphones to give myself some source of direct monitoring since it is a room over. <laughs> clean it up a little bit. A little bit of crunch now. everybody there it is and man were the walls shaking in here this amp is so ridiculously loud so I actually went to a jam a couple weeks ago and I rolled up with a Boss Katana 50 and I think everybody kind of snickered at me as like what is this guy doing and it kept up just fine to the guys playing out of full stacks so you would have no problems keeping up with the drummer with this amp now let's talk about the tone a little bit when we had it cranked and we had it mic'd, it was really high end heavy, which I really heard when I was playing back. It, the low end was kind of shot. Um, but that really, I think, is a result of it being a 1x12 speaker cab, not like the amp itself. That's just kind of be expected. If you would move up through the Katana line and had a 2x12 cab, I think it would be a completely different story. But it does still have the direct out, which has a built-in speaker emulator that sounds really good. So you really have those two options to really choose from. And I think they both sound pretty great. And that's going to do it. 
for this video, everybody. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Did you prefer the amp mic'd up or did you prefer the direct out? I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now, next week's video is going to be a little bit different, but I'm really excited about it because it's going to include a giveaway. Now, I'm not going to release many details about this, but I'll tell you two things. It's 100% free to enter, and you're going to want to be subscribed to my channel to stay updated. But that's all I'm going to tell you guys, but I'm really excited to announce it for you. So, until the next video, we'll see you guys later.